Hey there internets, I'm Michael and welcome to Diaries of a Board Game YouTuber for Monday the 9th of January 2017. So time is really flying now, we're into the second week of the year already and things are going well for the channel. So let's start with the week in review, shall we? So this week I did get six videos done. There was uh, my first impressions for Power Grid the card game. So this is Power Grid, it's all about resource management and powering power plants. But it's different to the original Power Grid in that there's no board. If you want to find out more, do check out my first impressions on that. Uh, there was also our next Review Wars nominations videos. And this time we're looking at the best two-player games. So if you want to find out what's been nominated and vote for that, do check out that. Uh, then what else was there? Subterra. So I did free videos for this. Uh, they were paid videos, so that's really good. Um, I need to get more paid stuff going to keep the channel going. And there was a how to play, a playthrough, and then also a preview. So everything you could possibly want to learn or know about Subterra, you can do so in those videos. It's this horror themed game where you're trapped in caves and you're trying to find your way out, but there are lots of hazards you have to get past. It's a co-op game about tile placement and action selection. So take a look at those. Then the final video, which just went up today, was my first impressions of junk art. So these first impression videos are what used to be my game night in review. And I've changed to just doing them as first impressions. And I've not really been doing them for a while, even though I've been playing games. Um, but these two, I just, I don't know, I, I just wanted to do, kind of give my vo voice an opinion on these two. And so I chose to do it. As I've said, I'm not going to do first impressions on every new game I play. But, you know, occasionally I might do them still. Uh, so Junk Art is this dexterity game. Um, it's not really a whole lot more to say. If you want to find out more, check out the video. Uh, so what else is there to talk about? Well, I had one new arrival, which is here. This is Dungeons of Infinity. Um, I can't remember exactly when this is coming to Kickstarter, but it will be coming to Kickstarter. The box is chock full. It weighs a ton. Um, it's filled with cardboard at the moment. I don't know if there's actually going to be miniatures or not, but it's a dungeon crawl game with kind of very story driven and what your decisions you make will affect later on story. So I'm looking forward to playing that and still trying to figure out the rules at the moment. So let's move on then to the figures and Facebook. We've been on Facebook 50 weeks, so still shy of a year. And we're at 2,242 likes. So we've gained five new likes, which isn't great, but it is an increase on last week. The other place that we've seen an increase on last week was Twitter. So Twitter's been going 53 weeks, and we're at 9,467 followers. So not a huge increase, but it is an increase, and it's a bigger increase than we saw last week. Unfortunately... YouTube has not seen the same. So we're at 55 weeks for the YouTube channel. The subs were at 3,533. Not really a lot of change, and definitely less change than we saw last week. The views, 124,138. Okay, this is less of a change than we saw last week, but it's still over 5,000 views in one week. I'm really pleased with this. You know, things have dropped off a bit, but um, to still be getting these higher level views is really good and I'm really pleased with that and I just hope that it will continue. Um, just in the lead up to Christmas, my targets had been around 2,000 a week and all through the last competition in Christmas, that's been kind of smashed. Competition, I can kind of understand. Christmas, I can sort of understand people were definitely watching more content. Um, and there was the one video that kind of was driving it all. But then this past week, people have been back to work. I'm kind of surprised to see it's still so high. Um, it'll be interesting to see whether it stays high, really, as we go into January, or if it is just, a, you know, tail end people kind of watching YouTube videos at work rather than working. Uh, but yeah, good to see. I'm really pleased with that. And a second ago, I mentioned there being one particular video driving the views, and that is still the case. Well, it's not necessarily driving the views, but it's definitely a lot of the views, and people are then seeing other 
videos on the channel because of it. And that is, of course, the top 10 games of 2016. This is doing really well. It's Again, it's had over a thousand views. So really pleased with that. I just wish all my videos were doing that. But, you know, it just shows I really do need to uh, get around to doing more top 10s. And I do want to. It's finding the time because I've got all these games to review. Um, so finding the time to then do other things. Speaking of which, I just want to talk a bit about what's coming up this week because we've got something new uh, that I'm kind of excited about. I have mentioned it previously, Meeple Box. Uh, that should be coming out this week with the first episode. And this is actually one I'm going to be asking for contributions from viewers for. Um, so for this first episode, I've just gone to reviewers, but I am actually going to open it up. I want everyone, you know, just short little clips of your opinions on games is what I'm going to be looking at. Um, so yeah, uh, that should hopefully be out sometime this week. And the first game is Takanoko. Um, so what else do they talk about? I'll probably do. So uh, yeah, do the whole subscribing, liking, etc. And as always, thanks for watching and bye for now.